Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I decided to not do the accent this time. This is all being streamed live at twitch.tv slash Pokeball35. Link in the description down below. If you were not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, I can collect platinum points. It's -a -me. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. Because I do have a lot to offer, including this whole playthrough of Super Mario Bros. Wonder and plenty of other stuff on the channel as well. As I'm doing this intro, I just remembered about some stuff that I had saved as, like, Twitter bookmarks uh, that I wanted to show you all, as well as some other stuff. I think that's it right there. Uh... So I'll pause that. So, uh, we are here with more Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Previously, we had gone through all of World 4. World 4 is 100% complete. Next, we are heading to the Fungi Mines. And we have a, uh, an airship to head to. Before we head to that, like I said, I want to show off some random... Nintendo Mario related stuff that I have in my possession at the start of each one of these streams uh, And the thing I have for today is interesting as It's not necessarily a Mario thing. It's also technically uh, youtuber merch uh, the thing I have next to me today is The bup cup This is the bup cup uh, this is, uh, Simple Flips merch. Uh, a few months ago, like, earlier, way earlier in the year, I guess also kind of last year, I forget when I did this, uh, I was streaming Enter the Gungeon for the first time. That was, like, late last year, so it's been about a year since I've played Enter the Gungeon. And I bought this around that time. You can see all of my runs, all my successful runs of Enter the Gungeon in a playlist on YouTube. Uh, but Simple Flips had a thing where you could buy, uh, this Bup Cup, and it came with, like, gamer drink. Like, there's a lot of, like, gamer drink things, like, uh, G Fuel and stuff like that. Uh, this was Advanced GG had made this. This is not an ad for them, I'm just showing the fact that I have this because it's, it's Simple Flips drink. And I think it's really funny. It's got Simple Flips on the thing, uh, and the flavor was cherry vanilla, and I was like, you know what, I've never had gamer drink before, like, let me buy it and try it, uh, and even if I didn't like it, I still have a thing that has super flips on it, and I still have the bup cup, which is good, like, you're supposed to, like, put water in here with, like, the powder, and then it's, like, super gamer drink time, I just have water in here. That's really it, is all I have water in here. And, uh, the thing about the gamer drink, uh, is that, like, it's gamer drink because it's it has, a, like, a handful of caffeine in it to, like, keep you energized while you're having your intense Super Mario gaming sessions. Uh, the thing is, is that this was the first time I ever had caffeine, and I absolutely hated it. Because I, sh I had some of this before I streamed Enter the Gungeon. And I talk about this in, like, maybe, like, the second Enter the Gungeon video on my channel or something like that. Uh, I hated this. <laughs> like, the flavor is good. It's cherry vanilla. It tastes fine. It's just that caffeine sucks. I don't like it. I just kind of just deal with existing and I don't really need caffeine. So this thing... Uh, it came with like, a little spoon inside. I don't know how much you can see that with the glare and whatnot, but, like, th it's, like, this thing is, like, nearly full, and I probably will never have it ever again. Uh, I did put water in here so I could drink water out of this. However, I also need to put it in the background as well, so I will just have this water later. <laughs> It'll turn him slightly. And that will just be up there. Uh, for the whole stream. And now we are ready to get going. There is some Mario stuff I want to talk about. 
related to Mario Wonder, uh, but I will play a level first, and then we will get into what I actually want to talk about. <laughs> so, Petal Isles Flying Airship. Uh, I have Crouching High Jump on, which is what I want. <laughs> so... We have yet another airship to get through. Oh, we have Mecha Koopas! That's nice. There wasn't any Mecha Koopas in the previous airship. Give me that. What the bubble? Oh, and we get clouds? Okay. Just cloud spawning pipes. Okay, so what that was was uh, that my Tourette's make my body jolt sometimes, and that body jolt made my Joy-Cons shake, which in turn did a spin jump, and span jumped me out of the cloud. So that's awesome. <laughs> so I will be sure to not do that this time. But I'm still excited to play even more of this game. I was thinking about not streaming this today, because I do have enough footage for pretty much the whole week, but I also just want to play more of this. Because this game is so damn good. And like, I say that every time because it's like, it's true. I need that. Okay, well, no bubble for me. Uh, Mario had a funny facial expression the cloud was running out. I think this is an interesting concept for an airship. This, uh, like, I would say this feels Mario Maker-esque because this is something that would be in Mario Maker, just, like, having a bunch of clouds going through an, an auto-scrolling airship. Because, like, they have, they've done, auto, like, all airships are all auto-scrollers in the Mario games. Hold on, that's a green pipe. They obviously want me to go in there. We have ones that move back and forth. But I don't think this concept has been done before. Let <laughs> me just kick these. Uh, I also kind of want to take another P switch with me. I can do this. Nice. This feels like I'm supposed to go underneath this. Uh, except I can't. There's the Wonder Flower. I need that. Alright, what is the Wonder? Are we... Yeah, we're doing the, uh, Air Strikes again. Uh... That was when you break that for me? Thanks. Can I just... Goes through here. Oh, you can break the fire. The funniest gift you've ever seen. I will switch between sa between saying GIF and GIF. that Mecha Koopa. Oh, just barely. Got another checkpoint. Making sure we're good. I got everything. And I think it's just hitting the button at the end. <laughs> I feel like the fire was easier to dodge than the, the crushy platforms than from the previous one.
And away we go. Alright, so what is what are you sent? Hold on, I need Yeah, I'm gonna open this in browser. Making sure that there's nothing bad showing up on screen. Uh desktop. Wonder effect. What the fuck? <laughs> Truck. <laughs> Wonderful! This is awesome. Thank you. Uh, we have another entrance. Oh, I feel like I have to go do this. I think this lets us go to the other side here. And then this lets us go into the next world, but like I feel like I have to do these. Because I've I've seen whatever this this funny looking guy is before. A ma ma mouthful. Oh it na na Damn. Ah! All right, well, now I need to see how that picture came out. Because <laughs> that's a thumbnail if I've ever seen it, if I took the picture correctly. Uh, possibly good enough. Well, this is not what I expected from these. I've just seen these out of context. I did not know you were going to be... Gonna be like that. I do get bubbles here. I like the whole sweets theme. This is what I thought the desert was gonna be like. And now we actually do have a sweets theme. Get out, played. I have to squish you. So, some stuff has happened uh, in the Mario community in the last few days. Get out of here. Oh, crouching high jump. So, what's very interesting is that people have already found uh, speedrun skips for this game. And I don't think I have the clip... Exactly, I thought I did. Uh, but when I was checking my Twitter bookmarks... Good. I didn't see it. What am I doing over here? I'm getting the Wonder Flower. Oh! <laughs> if you're not watching the Pokeball 35 live stream on twitch.tv slash Pokeball35 or the YouTube videos on YouTube, you're gonna turn into a Goomba! Wow. Don't let see you. I'm a Goomba! I can look up, but I can look down? <laughs> oh, and I have to hide from the- from the dudes! This is a sneaking mission. This is awesome. Because they're going to eat me. They're going to vor me to death. I can't even... Unless I can jump on his head. Nope. Oh, no. oh, that just killed me. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's a good thing they put this here. What if I go ahead and just, like, kill them before I pick up the flower? They wanted this before... But I'll show the, uh, the clip of the speedrun strats for this game. I do think that the, uh, like, how people find stuff for speedruns is absolutely insane. Also, he just fucking ate those sleeping guys. We can get you, and then we can stand on the spikes because we're a Goomba. You're a brave one. 
I love this. And this this is different than Super Super Mario Odyssey. Because in Super Mario Odyssey, you take over a Goomba, but you're not actually a Goomba. Now I'm actually a Goomba. Also, this is pretty much a Captain Toad level, by the way. This is a Captain Toad mission in 2D Mario. Because I can't really jump. You see how high I can jump? It's nothing. This is actually a 2D... Like, they actually also took this thing from Mario Maker again. Because there's a gimmick in Mario Maker that they added in Mario Maker 2 of having to beat the level without jumping. And now I'm having to do this. without jumping, because I physically can't jump. I discovered a new species. Wonder what you taste like. Shut up! What do you mean that- what do you mean by that? Right. <laughs> I see this pipe up here and I gotta go down it. Alright, that works. When it wants to hit the wrong thing, then, then it doesn't. You know, the fact that stuff doesn't respawn in this game... ...actually does kind of bother me a bit. Don't eat that. Stop. I need that. Like, I'm used to stuff respawning in, in Mario games. When you, like, leave an area and come back. Really? And the fact that that doesn't happen when I leave this area and come back is annoying. Am I not carrying the shell with me? I can't bring the shell with me, so I literally have to die. I mean, I got the Wonder Seed. So it should just count that I have the Wonder Seed now. Yeah, that's... a little bit silly. Like, I do think this game is near perfect, but I say near perfect because it's not perfect. But at least I don't have to, like, recollect stuff. Because as long as it's collected, it's collected. So we just do this. So we haven't seen Mario's animation here. There's an animation for walking like this. I do think that dropping that counting as falling in Mario Maker is annoying. I wonder what Goombas taste like. Mm. I feel like I quickly need to replay this level as a different character. just to see what the Goomba transformation is like. So we're gonna do something here. That leads us over to that way. If I go into characters, and we're gonna grab Nabbit. <laughs> I love this. Wow. Don't let him see you. This is awesome. I'm just happy this exists. See, now, I feel like if I played some of the other characters, it's just gonna give them... Uh, like, if, if I did Daisy, it would probably just be a Goomba with Daisy's crown. Uh, I have to see what the Yoshi is like. We have to play this level through halfway through one more time, because I need to see Goomba Yoshi. So...
Oh, I just have a, an egg on my head. That's not... That's not that exciting. The Nabbit one's definitely... The best one, because it's a Goomba. But I get the bunny ears and the... The mask. Oh well. I had to find out. Nosher Lair. How do they keep coming up with even more new enemies? These things remind me of Fawful enemies. Don't worry, I'll save you. These, these things are eating all of the sweets. Oh, I one of the ten coins was in there. Hold up. Five to go. We're doing a... We're doing a challenge? Uh... Uh... That works, too. Also, I just taking a look at the background. What is this? Is, is this also supposed to be chocolate? Because I don't like it. I mean, I love chocolate. I don't like the way the background looks, though. So these things always go after coins. Or whatever's in front of them. It looks like honey. That was my first thought. Alright, well, I'm just gonna have to... To die, because I... The, I didn't jump off the guy, and then the game told me no. And thankfully, these things don't eat mushrooms. Uh, and this level seems to be incredibly short if I have all three coins before the checkpoint. Because this is literally where we just were. <laughs> oh god, now they're coming from the ceiling. No! I saw that! Wonder Flower was in there. Ah! Uh, this isn't very wonderful of you! Wonder fact they're approaching. Get out of here. You know, I wouldn't hang out here if I nah, why would you tell me that now? <laughs> I'm trying to listen to your dialogue. He does a little trolling. That's a good picture. He does a little trolling. Alright, we can approach World 5 now, for real. It only took us a half an hour to, to meet for me to talk and get through two levels. World 5. The Fungi Mines. I have been interested in this area because it looked cool from the preview we saw. Fungi Mines. We found our way to the Fungi Mines! I know there's a royal seed around here somewhere. 
but I can't remember where it is, and the map isn't much help. Let's find a poplar and see what they've if they've got any ideas. Loyal Poplin's house. Hmm, nobody's home. Oh, a note. Let's see what it says. Welcome to the Fungi Mines, where it's fun to mine, and the happy ring of our pickaxes sound like a party. Or that's what it normally is like here. But something awful happened. Our work has come to a stop. I've gone off to see what I can do about all of this. If you can, please come help me. Take the Wonder Seed here, and then head to the br to the bridge, please. Oh dear, that sounds serious. Let's grab the Wonder Seed and head to the bridge. Got the place all to myself. It's kind of lonely. Cray. What should I do? You found my wonder seed. You must have read the note I left at home. Please tell me you've come to help. You see, my friends went deep into the mines and haven't returned. They were deeper than we normally go because they were trying to get a royal seed for you, Prince. It's real dangerous down there. I worry that if I don't reach them soon, then... What? They put themselves in danger trying to save the our kingdom? I couldn't stand to see them get hurt. We'll find them. Thank you, Prince. I need to fix this bridge first. Could you spare some flower coins? <laughs> All fixed up. I almost forgot. I had to give you something important. It's a handy tool called the Sensor Badge. I'm sure that you'll find it useful. Sensor Badge? That one senses things you want to find, right? Like wonder flowers. Uh... And other special things aside from that. No. I'm gonna read the description of it. Uh, detect significant items nearby, such as flower coins or, or fla wonder flowers or ten flower coins. Honestly, that doesn't seem that useful because I'm already scouring each level for everything anyway, and if there's something I missed, I kind of already knew where it was, I just missed it. And if I missed it in the level and I haven't completed the level yet, I just walk backwards until I find it and it doesn't take too much time. I, I still feel like crouching high jump or wall jump climb or wall climb jump uh, are like the two best things in the game. So I'll just keep it. Uh, before I get distracted by stuff, I do want to show you the stuff that I have saved. Uh, the first thing is, uh, a very interesting set of tweets. Uh, so the first one, uh, is this. I want to also get my camera on screen. Uh, the first one is this. It is the... Uh, the Wonder sploosh um, which has now been modded into Splatoon 3, um, and then the, the, the Wonder Zooka, and <laughs> the Wonder Whale, uh, and here's the, uh, the, the Wonder Machine. And here is... I couldn't... I didn't save the original tweet, but I'll explain what's going on here. Uh, I'll lower this just in case. So, this is in World 3. So, the way this glitch works is that it works pretty much anywhere in the game. So, in two-player mode... Luigi walks down, and then each controller swaps characters, so then the, they go back up here, and they teleport to one another. And by doing that, it makes one of the characters clip out of bounds, and they can just walk over in the falls area. 
to the pipe that skips all of World 3 into World 4. And when I say this works anywhere, from what I've seen is... Uh, the, the tweet that I originally saw, I don't need to be like that. Uh, the tweet that I originally saw was... At the end of World 1, where you have you have to beat the palace to go to uh, the whole middle section of the map. If you do that, if you have one character walk all the way off screen and then switch the controllers, it clips one of the other characters out of bounds so they can walk to the right. And then you switch the characters like back again and it just lets one of the characters just walk past the palace. So... The speedrun for this game has now immediately opened wide. You can skip... You can only have to beat a few levels in World 1. Doing this allows you to skip all of World 2. Uh, allows you to skip all of World 3 into World 4. And for some reason, as far as I'm aware, from what I've heard, I haven't looked into it other than what I've heard, this game only checks if you have Wonder Seed, or, um, like the, the King Seeds, whatever the the big seeds are called from the palaces you only have to have the ones from world four five and six to beat the game i don't know why the game only checks for those specific ones but it only checks for those specific ones to unlock the final world and then you can just beat the game from there so people have beaten this game in like two hours i think uh i haven't looked at any of the speed runs but i've seen screenshots of people's splits and it's like, they're already at, like, two hours on this game. Uh, the last thing I need to show you is this. Uh, get my camera back on the screen. The last thing I need to show you is this. Uh, which is the Wonder Cart. And... Of the water. I love this swimming hole. <laughs> I will uh, copy this and post it in chat so you can view the whole thing. Because I I won't steal someone else's tweet, but it's wonderful, as as you can say. Uh, I'm I'm actually genuinely hoping we get Talking Flower, which I don't even think Talking Flower has a name other than Talking Flower. But I want them to be in the next Mario Kart game. Because we already know all the characters coming in booster in the final wave of Booster Course Pass. Uh, but Mario Kart 9 on Switch 2, Switch U, would be lovely. Uh, up Shroom, Down Shroom. <laughs> uh, there were some rumors going around the last, like, 24 hours of a brand new patent. Like, a new patent for a new, like, Nintendo filed. Which was, like, a double Switch that has, like, a detachable top screen, and the theory is, is like, it's a switch for ha for console play, but you could also attach it to a separate thing to have it be, like, a Switch DS for handheld mode. Um, like, it's a real patent that Nintendo has filed, uh, but Nintendo has filed many patents for many things that never go anywhere. So, I have no idea if that's real. Like, I mean, it is real, but, like, is that gonna be what the next Nintendo thing is gonna be like? I would be down. But who knows. Also, I like this pumpkin patch kind of level. Well, how the... Come here. Ah. 
Get out of here. I like these bamboo shoot enemies, too. <laughs> Come here. Drill. Uh, this is interesting. I can't drill myself into the pipes, but I can use crouching high jump to get into the ceiling. Oh, wait. Okay, no, that's a curved surface. I don't like that. Oh, but you can just knock all of them out. Drill is very satisfying to use. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. I see that up there. Oh, there's coins over there. Uh, how am I supposed to get that? Because I see the coins. Because it can't be from here. Yeah, that just goes right out the side. Uh, can I... No. I don't know what these coins are for. Uh... I feel like... There we go. Uh, but this also feels like it has absolutely no point. <laughs> Other than the fact that it's just satisfying to do. Wait, no. Bunch of coins inside that pumpkin. There's a pipe next to me. Uh... Cool. There we go. More drill shroom. Name of the song is Pumpkin Party. Happy Halloween, everybody! I'm streaming this on October 30th. How am I supposed to go up? Wouldn't have this been funny if I streamed this tomorrow? By the time this is on YouTube, it'll be November. But still, this is dope. There we go, we got all the coins. Damn boy, you got them hips, though. See that up there. Fuck. Loved it. Everything about it. This is telling me that there's a secret that I missed. I'll have to find out. 
Actually, that's probably for if you do this level without the Wonder Seed or Wonder Flower. Uh, there's a pipe that just takes you to the end. But the world map will tell me if I missed anything. Uh... Nope, we got everything. Next is... Uh, Tailey's Toxic Pond. No, it is a Tailey. <laughs> These. Oh, here we go. Let me get this. That is secret. <laughs> Kill. I don't know how to get up there. Hello. Goombrat. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh. I will be here. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> One of the best parts about this entire game is not the wonder flowers or the wonder effects, which are all amazing stuff. It's the fact that I'm consistently running into new species of enemies this entire game. Like, this game does have its fair share of Goombas and Koopas, the princess and the others. Hanging with the brothers, you'll be hooked on the plumbers to the bridge. But I'm glad there's all these new things, because these aren't technically Mushroom Kingdom enemies. These are Flower Kingdom enemies. They can do whatever the hell they want with enemy designs here, because this isn't the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. Yeah, careful, I can just do this. See that there. And even when stuff in Mario Odyssey, that game doesn't even take place in the Mushroom Kingdom for like 90% of the game. And even when you are in the Mushroom Kingdom, what you do see is Goombas. That's one way to do it. I didn't want to hit that guy yet. So I mistimed my thing and then I still mistimed it anyway. I didn't find the Wonder Flower that entire time. Well, I have to replay the level anyway. My brain just was on autopilot. I was like, wait, we're at the end of the level already? Where's the Wonder Flower? I didn't even process that. All right, well, hold on. What the hell did I miss? Oh, wait, there was a, a fighting section here. I didn't realize there was a fighting section here. I think I skipped this. Okay, we're good. Time for a quiz. Uh, what flower takes you to the sky? Uh, propeller flower. Time for the 200 IQ... Mario Wonder Quiz. What does a bluebird blow? Arrows. What's the name of the world you're currently in? Fungi Mines. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the 700 IQ drug-filled hyper quiz. <laughs> All right. Well, now we need to get to the end. Like Borb, I think that's gonna be the name of the episode. If I remember to name the episode that. And I still didn't hit the top of the thing anyway. It didn't take me to the top. I have to replay the level again. Can I do this properly this time? I'm gonna go into the ceiling, okay? All I have to do is hold right. Because my brain, for some reason, thinks that I'm gonna go past the flagpole. When I'm obviously not, there's an invisible wall there. If I just hold right, I hit the top of the flag. <laughs> 